welcome to my presentation. For the first task, I was instructed to address a brief set by Fedragoni that promoted one of their rangers. Part A asked me to consider the scope and possibilities of the brief and express my strategy. First, I conducted research into their marketing. After analysing their previous promotional work, I noted that they were very creative and fun whilst highlighting the use of their paper. Following this, I did further research and created a mind map to help me understand my direction. After much debate, I decided that the environmental route would benefit the brand image and be more poignant. I then completed some sketches in the paper art style that I wanted to use. This included an orangutan climbing trees, turtle swimming, a rhino eating, and a parrot flying. I decided to move forward with just two, opting for the orangutan and turtle. These are my initial concepts for the poster series. Here is the orangutan design, tinkered to fit with a business card. For my third idea, I chose to design a stylish pop-up stall to be used at events. This would promote both the paper and brand message. Part B. For part 1B, I was asked or tasked to outline from the brief which areas are non-negotiable and areas that provide creative freedom. Furthermore, the question asked if and what I could improve of my three designs and then finally decide which design I will take forward and expand upon. In my report, I explain how the brief is boundless, barring a few things. I then delve into my three designs, explaining how I wanted my integrated marketing campaign to include digital, analog and B2B marketing methods. I then provide details for where I feel I could improve my work which I believe would be the regarding the Ferragoni environmental commitments. For part 1C, they wanted to know what are the constants, which included brand message, audience, logo colour scheme, and outer packaging colour. Part C also asked for four things by which I could evaluate the success of my designs. This included an increase in sales of free life range, an increase in brand awareness and awareness of the free life range, portraying the importance of paper in a digital age, and finally, increasing knowledge of Fedragoni's sustainability commitments. Part D asked me to reconsider who I believe to be the target audience. At first, I understood it to be high-end fashion brands and boutique companies, as stated in the brief. However, when rethinking this, it is in-house graphic designers who design and plan the brand packaging. Therefore, it is them buying the product and them who I should target. Finally, Part D asks if I can alter my design to incorporate a shock element and stoke up empathy. With this new target, I set about sketching new works for Part E. My original orangutan design as seen here was too cluttered for this new approach. As seen here, I have a new design. The new design has more white space and it is slightly altered to have the orangutan escaping a forest fire below. Running along the bottom, you can see the stages of development that took to get to the final design. Here is the final poster. Here are the ideations that led to the final poster design too. And here is the final turtle poster design. This design includes a turtle trapped in a fishing net with a straw poking out of its nose. The tagline under the free life title says paper with a conscience to highlight Federigoni's sustainability commitments. And the QR code in both of the images is connected to the Federigoni website that connects them to the free life range. Thank you for watching.